right guys you requested it I'm gonna give it to you we are gonna explain how to put FPV uh, on the ghost drone today the 1.0 uh, once you get your gimbal and everything mounted here, we're going to talk about this. So we're not quite sure what their original design was for this. But when you get your gimbal, you'll notice that it has... Let me see if I can get this to focus here. Tap to focus. There we go. You'll notice that it came with uh, two connections that are extra on the gimbal that don't go to anything. You will see this large white one with a yellow, red, and black wire. Those wires are currently right here. If you guys can see that, yellow, red, and black. What I have done is cut cut the uh, entire connection off here and I have stripped only the yellow wire okay the red and black one are going to get covered with tape and these are not uh, necessary they run too low of a voltage for what I'm going to be doing so we're going to go ahead and just push those out of the way so all you need is the yellow one then your ghost drone gimbal also comes with a, another connection this little white one here that is this red and black wire on this side, which I have pulled separately apart. So from this harness, all you're using is the yellow wire. And from this harness, all you're using is the black and red. We believe this is a direct line to the battery at 11.1. So what I have done here is I have gotten a 600 milliwatt micro VTX uh, up to 50 something channels. Pretty crazy. Um, and all I did, as you can see, this one comes with audio and ground wires as well. All we're using is the red, black, and yellow wire. And you can pretty much just see what I've done here. I have run the red and black wires up to the uh, red and black wires of the small connection piece that comes with your gimbal. After you cut it off, I ran it right to that direct uh, wires over here. So that's its own setup. And then on the three prong connector, on this side, I cut the red and black wire, got those out of the way, and all I did was wire in the yellow wire, direct wire. And then it will supply your VTX with power. So technically, these other wires here are also unnecessary. So you can go ahead and just whoop. They are not needed. And then you can cover those in tape or glue, whatever you want to use. So these are audio, uh, audio and ground wires, not necessary. You also will not be needing your connections anymore. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the drawer. I save all my connections because you never know. I'm a hobbyist. And now I'm going to go ahead and wire this all up. And what's going to happen is I will now get 5.8 live feed from my GoPro Hero 4 from the gimbal uh, at 600 milliwatts. And we're going to go ahead and mount that right here when we're done. I'm going to hot glue the uh, back of this right here. After I straighten this out like so, I will be gluing the... Uh, 5.8 transmitter feed right there on the back. We may raise it up a little bit more, bring it just a bit higher so that it uh, clears the ground. So it'll be somewhat like this. Uh, and I think we'll be good to go. So I'll show you guys that when I'm finished and then we'll show you the FPV. Let me get some uh, glue on these wires and I'll see you guys in a second here. If I had shrink wrap, I'd do that. I think we're just going to use a little hot glue we're going to bend these down, use a little hot glue, and then we're going to cover them in black tape, and we should be good to go. So once again, the only wire you're using from the three-prong connector is the yellow one, and then the uh, two-wire connector, the little small connection, you're, using the, you're, you're cutting it off and using the red and black wires for the VTX. <coughs> the <clears throat> other ground wire and the white wire can be cut off, and uh, then you're ready to mount and you'll be able to use an FPV station or goggles. And I actually have something really cool I want to show you guys with the goggles uh, in avatar mode with this. So let me go ahead and cut this feed. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. This is what it should look like completed. With uh, Let me zoom in here so you guys can get a little better look. I keep the focus going here. This is what it should look like completed. As you can see, I modified the bay door uh, so I can actually put the wires up and in there. I cut off the rest of the red and black wires for that one side. So she's, uh, she's ready to go. <laughs> I put the antenna so I can bend it if needed. I can also change this antenna out because it's SMA. And once again, this is 600 milliwatts. And I can access my button right here. There's a number of reasons why I chose to mount it on the outside instead of the inside of the bird. Number one, 
because the antennas are up here, I wanted this to be much lower and uh, 600 milliwatts it has the potential to cause a ton of interference. So I wanted the antenna much lower than the Wi-Fi uh, antennas that are up in here in the 2.4. So I mounted it way in the back there, hopefully to cut back on some interference. And also 600 milliwatts gets a little warm. So I figured if I could put this closer to the props, uh, it would probably cool this unit down a lot during flight to keep it from overheating. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. You can see what that looks like, very easy. Red board, doesn't look too bad. If you want to, you can paint it, I guess, whatever you wanna do. And I uh, got perfect clearance with the antenna here. The gimbal can still go 360 with no issues. And I'm gonna plug this in and show you guys how this looks. I know it looks a little crazy on camera, but I promise you it's not as bad as you think it is. It actually looks very good. So, that is 600 milliwatts. This cost $9. Uh, I will go ahead and release where I got that. Now, let me show you what the footage looks like from the GoPro. I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey, guys. G-Box is ready to go. I have my goggles on so you can see. And uh, like I said, this has the potential to hook up to 50, 52, 58, something like that, different FPV channels. Um, I'm going to show you that my goggles do work with this. Uh, they also have a connection for a ground station on the bottom to screw it to a tripod. So if I wanted to do it that way, I could. Uh, I will show you what I've done. I've ordered an FPV watch that I think will work perfect for this setup so you guys can see exactly what my plans are for that. Let's go ahead and get this bumped up. And uh, give me one sec here. I'm going to turn the G-Box on. Okay, G-Box has power. We are going to come over to the cell phone here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to open the Ghost Drone app. Should take a second. Welcome to the world of Ehang Ghost. There we go, G-Box connected successfully. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is turn on the camera. Okay. GoPro Hero 4 is now booting up. No SD card, full battery. I'm gonna have to set you guys down for one sec because I wanna connect this battery quickly. I do not wanna sit on this battery, so give me one sec here. All right, check this out, guys. Ghost Drone's now powered up. All right, I got the app up here. I've, I've got it in waypoints. I'll show you how I got here. So let me focus in real quick. So as you can see, it has found that I'm flying the Aerial Plus platform, All right? And I'm gonna go ahead and point this up so you can see the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, oops that's not what I meant to do here. Give me one sec. We're gonna activate way, waypoint mode. So I have camera controls. I'm gonna show you what I got going on here. So we're gonna move the camera 360 just by sliding. Slide, 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 slide. It's very beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom in here or get it to focus a little better. I don't have the best light. There we go. So I'll go like this. We'll straighten it out very slowly. I'll go down, up, using the app. Now watch this. Bam. Down, up, down, up. 360 degrees all the way around inside my FPV goggles with beautiful 5.8 live feed. It looks super clean from the GoPro. No joke, that's in my uh, VRD2 goggles. So if you had a, a high output FPV monitor, man, this would look fantastic. So there you go, guys. That is coming from the Ghost Drone. The, Go, the uh, GoPro Hero 4 is casting a signal and everything is working exactly how it should. So, everybody was asking how we were going to get FPV. Um, let me unplug all this and I'll explain everything up to this point, okay? All right, what's up there, guys? So, I'm uh, currently chatting with the dudes on Discord. I had to put them on hold for a sec. So, I just want to say everyone's kind of been helping me with this, uh, getting all this figured out and testing wires and all the fun stuff. And uh, So, uh, big shout-outs to Lesmo. Big shout-outs to Stephen Merritt. Uh, these guys have really been... Uh, doing all of this along with me, getting all of this figured out and figuring. See, the issue is, is that uh, when they released the Ghost Drone, I think they had big potential for it and they never released an actual VTX uh, that worked with it um, out of the box, I think the way they intended. So uh, anyways, what we did is we kind of bypassed some of the stuff they had going on by doing it this way. Uh, but we also are guaranteeing a very, very clean signal for the entire flight, pushing it at 600 milliwatts. 
Um, so you should have no problems the entire time seeing. Uh, so like I said, uh, the little FPV watch you can order for $34 and that VTX to install it, uh, to purchase it is $9. And uh, then you just follow the wiring like I went ahead and showed you guys there. Very simple. So whatever original package they were going to release for giving people FPV does not uh, apparently never dropped or never came out. We found a few things uh, about it in some forums, but nothing that was actually released for that setup. So uh, I'll go ahead and put the um, purchase link for the VTX in case you guys want to install that. Uh, you will need an FPV monitor, a 5.8 monitor, uh, or goggles. And uh, actually, this allows me to now use avatar mode, which is a really, really cool mode, I think, based on gravity sensor and compass bearing for flying. It's uh, designed to give you a very immersive experience, and I'll have to show you how all that works. I think I think we have now basically unlocked the potential for the Ghost Drone 1.0 to be as good as the Ghost Drone 2.0 VR. So by doing this, it costs about, like I said, if you already have goggles or an FPV monitor 5.8, then you're good. It's only going to cost you like nine or ten bucks to put uh, uh, to get FPV from the uh, system. So. It's a 600 milliwatt system, man. You're looking at probably a kilometer or more uh, of FPV range. So uh, very cool. So once again, big shout outs to Lesmo and Stephen Merritt for helping me along with this and getting things figured out with me. Uh, we've been really pushing this to try to figure out how to get FPV uh, without installing any kind of crazy systems on there. So this is about as simple as it gets. Uh, it's basically putting three uh, direct wiring three wires or you know whatever you guys want to do heat shrink them solder them however you want to do it it's up to you guys I just direct wired them covered them in glue and then I was uh, able to push them right up in there I modified the frame door with a pair of cutters real quick so that I could put the wires in there and still put the door on and hide all the wiring and uh, then I just hot glued it right to the back and bent the antenna the antenna comes with it so I think we're good to go here man so uh, that is how you put FPV on the Ghost Drone from the GoPro's perspective, and you will need an FPV monitor. So, anyways, guys, drone worship, I'm out. Toodaroo. Test flight coming up soon.